how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel and a merry christmas to everybody as well now yesterday i went on a bit of a mad one uploading and i managed to catch up with everything that i had recorded ready so today i am recording on christmas eve and this is going to be our christmas episode as you can see I did mow this field and we have tidied it enough in order for us to get that picked up and into the silo but as usual our first job is selling the silage so today as well we've also got to harvest our two soybean fields are ready to go now so we definitely woohoo need to get on with those and i did notice in our small grass field field 16 there's a couple of lumps that was making it somewhat difficult to mow the mower kept getting stuck so we need to terraform those out we just use the soften tool i was supposed to do it before i started recording but as usual i forgot what with editing and everything else so today's episode is gonna be a big one we we're going to get everything done today so we might end up slowing time down a little bit we got to rent a harvester we need a trailer to move the crop into the silo because we will not be selling the soybeans today they will be sold at a later date when the price is considerably better it's never that great at the time of harvest i think soybeans is relatively close actually i think it's around january time and for that we will probably just rent a large trailer so we can do it all in one trip so whilst this empties i will rent a harvester quick and see how much money we have after we've done that so we've leased the harvester and the money is still going up quite considerably and obviously we will return the harvester today so we should at least get our deposit back off of those the only thing i haven't got is a header trailer forty one thousand pounds off of that that is a wonderful income that is so i need to uh borrow the header trailer as well just to get everything back in one swoop and then obviously we do require a trailer of our own which i'll buy because well we're gonna need it it's always going to be handy to have a trailer so we'll head back to the farm and then i will take the long walk to the dealership um, I will ask if they can collect it off the farm because I'm hoping to be done with it by lunchtime so that we can get the grass field sorted out because we do need to do both of them and I would like to get them done this side of Christmas so we see next in-game month we won't be doing any recording and January is going to be very busy for us hopefully the ground's not too frozen and we can just focus on getting cultivated and lined and fertilized and then we will be ready for drilling then fertilizing again then rolling so not much to do at all only a little bit but today we are focusing on harvesting and mowing as long as we can get the grass mowed this side of Christmas and get it I can get it in the silo off camera that doesn't bother me too much 
but obviously I have done an awful lot of mowing as of recent so I'm pretty sure you guys that was why I mowed this field in advance I'm pretty sure you guys are a bit fed up of seeing me constantly mowing I need to shut doors when I'm not here since I deleted all the gates on the map by accident so I'm gonna rush down to the harvester and I'll see you once I get the harvester back to the farm. Well, I just got to the dealer and rather interestingly, it's flooded. Ooh, there's a car there. So we're obviously in a little valley here. And yeah, the dealership has officially flooded. As you can see, it's in all of the workshop. It is everywhere. So I just thought I'd quickly show that. It's rather interesting to me. I was very surprised when I was coming down the hill to find that it was flooded. But nonetheless, let's get all this back to the farm. You can see the trailer just... What the hell? Why are you stood there? That is creepy. I don't know if I like that. That's just rather terrifying, if I'm honest. It's supposed to be a Christmas special, not a bloody Halloween special. What a creepy man. There we go. I know it seems a bit odd that it turns like that, but... Otherwise I'd have to move the trailer. And the drawbar on the combine harvester is right underneath. So let's get this back to the farm and then I'll run down in the JCB and pick up our shiny new trailer to go with it. And I'll see you once I've got the trailer on the farm. I hope he gets cold. And we have made it back to the farm with our trailer which looks rather large. But it shouldn't be too large. So let's get this down by the field. And we need to harvest our way in. Turn the beacon off now. Don't need that on. So obviously this field needs harvesting. And the other field. Uh, other grass field needs harvesting. And, but we need to get the soybeans out. That is far more important than the soybeans because the grass won't actually be going anywhere it will just stay as ready to harvest although it might be worth doing the grass a little bit later to be fair because I think for December, January and February it doesn't actually grow so it might be worth saving this until maybe even January time but at the same time we need to keep our fermenting silo going so we have that one field I think we'll just have to see what we get off of the field that is already mowed because like I say we need to keep it going if we turn that on and then turn on the harvester as well and we can get going oh don't tell me we're going to be stuck at one mile an hour I don't have to change combine harvesters no I can't put up with that this is exactly the issue that I had on Bally Spring But that's okay, I will quickly sort this out because I cannot and will not put up with it. I will we'll just go a bit oversized and get this done much quicker. So I'll see you once I've got this sorted out. And this is what we went with. Cost us twenty grand just in renting, but 
this is going to do it all oh, an absolute breeze it's got 900 horsepower and it doesn't come oh the creepy man's inside now I shall call you Jeff so me and Jeff as he has now been called I'm oh, going to get on with this. This should not take long. I know it's a bit cheaty, but I cannot put up with the doing things at one mile an hour thing. And there's obviously a mod conflict there, so I need to figure that out as well as to what is making the harvester so slow. But look at us go now. We are flying. And this should all fit in this harvester. Uh, we shouldn't need to worry too much. So we'll do a time lapse, but I don't think it's going to be very long. You see, you can see we've got a lovely green field state as well. So let's get on with that time lapse. Okay, so that is all the harvesting done. Uh, I said it was a little bit cheaty, but it turns out it was a lot more cheaty than I thought it was. But, and I'd love to say that I feel bad about it, but I really don't. That was great fun, although I can't get it through anywhere. Uh, we'll just leave that over here and the dealership will come and pick it up later. There we go. And we can get this emptied and work out exactly how much we gained from all of those soybeans. I know it's probably not going to be the amount that I was hoping for. I honestly thought I was going to get somewhere around 50 to 60,000 litres. And I don't think we've got anywhere near that. Mind you, we might do. You never know. And we will be keeping that small trailer. I think we'll just use that for carting the soybeans when it comes to selling them. But what a machine the Colossus is. It really does live up to its name. At 900 odd horsepower and big headers and exciting things. But that was absolutely fantastic. That couldn't have gone any quicker if I wanted it to, I suppose. There was, there is one bigger harvester. It's called the Reaper. 
but again I just like the Colossus I think I think I'm a bit of a fanboy for it it's a bit like a big bud we all want one really even if they are a little bit large especially for maps like this but I do seem to be having quite some issues with the combines and I, I, I did try a couple of different ones on another map and they all seem to just run at like one mile an hour two mile an hour so and because on this map it is not particularly easy to what's the word hire workers it uh i actually kind of have to do more work myself especially where i'm still trying to figure out how the course play works but that is all in the silo well nearly all in the silo so let's just have a look and see how much we ended up with and there we go we ended up with 39,598 litres and our time to sell is going to be January at nearly a thousand pounds so that's about forty thousand pounds in soybeans so our next job when this eventually unhitches is to get this field collected and then I think it's about time we turned this grass field into a crop field as well ready for planting season just to make life a little bit better for us if we can get it all done come on little JCB don't make me bring the fear out you can do it this is the biggest pile as well I uh, went a bit mad doing the headlands I think I did four laps because of those lumps I don't know how well you can make them out but there's one just there and they were as a hedge extremely annoying I think we're gonna swap this out for the fear it's uh, struggling quite a bit and I think that extra 30 horsepower that the Fiat has will make a huge difference so let's just see if I run over these lumps if it makes them a bit more clear they are there's one there's a big one there if you saw that there it is so all this section here became extremely difficult to mow and there's another one there and there which obviously did not help in the slightest uh, we'll just leave this here in front of this barn for now and jump into the fiat that should make things a little bit easier for collecting that grass and I think we will hold off on mowing until next month hopefully the grass gets that one last state that would be absolutely epic so we can get a full mow out of it so we'll get this collected go that's that's much better get up on the mound and the fear is going to hopefully just plow along a little bit better than the JCB did and hopefully we can get a full trailer out of this if not it's gonna suck but we shall carry on with the time lapse and get this done no matter how long
and that is that field all picked up and collected not quite the full trailer I was hoping for but very nearly go on you could do it up the hill Just a little bit to grab there it should be that all yep tidied up lovely lovely and the Fiat definitely found that a lot easier than the JCB did. So let's get that unloaded. And that could probably do with a clean actually. As you can see the combine has been collected as well. So that's all sorted and gone. Might as well clean the Fiat whilst it's sat nice and close. And the forage wagon, get that cleaned up as well. Everything is nice and clean again. And then, just move that a little bit. <coughs> and let's get the JCB tucked in the barn for the feels like the first time so next episode is all going to be field prep work and a little bit of selling because we've got an awful lot to do now in preparation for drilling season we've got spraying to do we've got cultivating to do potentially ploughing as well I don't know if those fields need ploughing I don't know if this one does it doesn't say it does so we will mow this field before we cultivate it this one's got weeds growing but it needs rolling and this one over here also needs rolling and has weeds growing so we'll get away with cultivating which is great makes life nice and easy for us nice and quick as well but it's a very good job that we have the plough because inevitably there will be times when we need it so let's get all this tidied away properly for winter save it getting all damaged up and that is all from me so I will see you all in game in the new year, but I will probably see you all a bit before then. Or is there just patches that need ploughing, is there? So, there, I'm losing my words again. In game it will be the new year, but in real life you'll probably see me well you'll see me today on christmas day although i'm recording it the day before and that seems really weird saying today is christmas day i hope you all have yourself an absolutely epic christmas and you get everything that you wanted as well please feel free to leave a comment below i'm not going to ask you to like and subscribe because that really is your choice and your judgment i do not want to crowd any judgments but i would definitely like to hear from you in the comment section below on what you think we should do on the farm in terms of what crops to put in and whether or not we convert the other grass field into a crop field but obviously we will have to leave probably this whole section from this gateway roughly probably this tree to be safe 
all the way down as a path for the other fields so we don't end up destroying crops when we have to travel through and i will see you all in the next one